This is my family. Some of my children is in China with me. This is my eldest son and this is Stan and he's doing his degree at the Sichuan University. I think my mom is a really strong person. She basically packed up her whole life. We sold everything and moved to China and I don't think that a weak person would ever be able to do that. Hi. I got some stuff for salad. That was cool. Class is okay. Mm. How was your day? Oh, busy. She is my fiance, Becca. We applied at different universities. We found Sichuan University had the best sort of degree tourism management for Becca. I came to teach English. Blake is my okay. fiance. So well, he's been here for five months. I've been here for four months. Hello. Hello. Can you show me how to make banana bread so I can make it better than your mom? <laughs> okay, I will. His strong sense of humour. He's one of those people that hide his emotions. Good teachings from Master Baker. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> and watch a movie. And watch a movie. Or doing chicken pies today? Yeah, I thought of making chicken pies for lunch. Have a nice lunch. Okay. My mom and I, when I have some spare time, we do spend a lot of time together. Because my brother has been here for about 15 years, I think he basically witnessed the beginning of the opening up of China to the rest of the world. So right now he's finishing his master's degree, but he's also married to a Chinese girl. We are at my the university Sichuan University with my friends, all the students. We are all getting ready to go to the bamboo village. It's a very different experience. Definitely not something you'll get in South Africa. Today we came to a village where the family is living. We learn how to weave. This is the master for the bamboo weaving and uh, it's cultural heritage certain. I didn't know about bamboo when I came to China and now the university showed me a lot about bamboo. Get rid of the skin. But scratch. Split it in the middle. Again, split into small half. You can see how thin it will be. Wow! wow. No, that's a mean. It's average. We whatever we want to. Uh, I didn't get it right. Uh, the master helped me. <laughs> it's very hard to learn this. This is a, a basket. No, this is a, a, a hat. I do find the students very interesting. I learn a lot about their cultures. I get along with them so well. I'm currently studying at Sichuan University. My major is software engineering. I finished my high school here. Studying in China, for me, it just feels a lot more interactive. I really appreciate that my mom is with me. The technology here is amazing. Okay, so this is my bedroom. This is where I spend most of my time uh, during the day. 
Well, I've always been interested in computers since I was young. My eldest brother also, same thing. Software engineering would be a really good major for me to go into. Now my homework is finished. I can do some video editing, which is one of my favorite hobbies to do. I think my mom is a very flamboyant, spontaneous kind of person. She's very artsy, very colorful, but she doesn't like doing it alone. <laughs> she, she always has someone to go with her when she goes anywhere. In South Africa, yeah, I'm actually an artist. I had an art school, art gallery, art shop, a bead shop, and a coffee shop. So yeah, it gets me busy and my children grew up in a business environment. They all work with me in the shop, they all know about business and we just enjoyed it. And we plan to open yeah, a coffee shop and a restaurant with a bar and a catering service. It's happening already. I have a friend in China. He's a young Chinese man. He's now I think Chengdu is not very fast paced. It's a very lazy, relaxed, laid back city. You can make money here, you can live here super comfortably. <laughs> if we talk about a safety perspective, I can be outside at any time of the day and nothing's going to happen to me. We are on our way to a traditional Chengdu place where they make paper. We're going to learn the traditions and ways of how to make paper. I think I'll be enjoying it a lot. <laughs> I like learning new things. China intangible culture. Um, I am here at the paper making village. The bamboo gets steamed in there and boiled for about a week or two for the colour to fade. And then it gets put here, it's soaked here into water. Then it gets cut into small pieces, then it gets crushed. It feels like it's a lot of energy. So that's a fine powder. After that, put it in water, the powder, and that's when you make your own piece of paper. Now I want to show you the water. Depends on the weather, it usually takes five, more than five days to dry. <laughs> uh, so this is the final product. After, after they get taken off of the wall, then they hang here. So this is the paper that's finished. So I've definitely experienced it. Very beautiful. Yeah. Okay, the stage is yours. Thank you. How 
welcome you, all your country benefits from Belt and Road initiatives. Uh, we focus a lot more on China. The university, obviously, because of the local students that can't, that is struggling to get to China, there's a scholarship. Our tourism school actually funded this program called International Tourism and Hotel Management from 2017. And Becca, actually, she was the first student from South Africa we have recruited at our tourism school. And she just enrolled this year. She's a very smart student. China has a very rich culture very old culture. There's lots of ancient places that you can go and visit in China. The best way to explain China to me, in Sichuan province, we eat hot pot. And hot pot is comprised of many different things. You have spices, you have chili, you've got your numbing spices, your fada, you've got your beef fat, you've got your soup, your broth, you've got the meat and the ingredients that you put inside to cook and you've got the fire. And it's because everything works so well together that the country strives as much as it does. Now I think that in China, the food is very good. China is a very good country, a very good country. We welcome you to China. That's a big thing. For all the Chinese people so that they can taste South African way of baking and cooking. China is opening up to the rest of the world more. I think there are a lot more opportunities here, especially for young people. As an international student, the world is my oyster. China is a very beautiful place. I think my goal would be maybe my own wedding planning business in China. And then maybe we work together in China for a year or two and then see where it takes us from then. One, two, three, two.